Yo, what is up, guys? Ghost Raven here, and, um, okay, I'm gonna be doing a new series called, like, uh, I'm, pro I'm just gonna call it the spooky or scary stories, just because I don't want to say ghost stories since I have, don't have so much right now, but, <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to do these series because I want to try something new. And what I've been doing lately, I didn't really like, so I just deleted all the videos. So I'm just going to start fresh, and yeah, I'm just going to start fresh. Now these stories are not just from me, they're just they're from like friends and family also. So if they're kind of like um, all over the place, that's the reason why. So yeah. So the first story is a little bit of a minor one, but um, <clears throat> what happened was like that we have um, two people usually visit us in our old house. It was Aunt Gwen and uh, Beto, and one night we were just talking about a lot of crazy shit, like uh, stories about Aunt Gwen being possessed by a devil or... Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much to remember on all the stories, but I do remember one specific one, which is goes along with this story. What happened was that, um, shit. Oh, what happened was, Beto was explaining to me that one time he decided to walk into the hallway. I think he wanted to get something, either from... I think it's from our room. I don't really remember. Or he went to the bathroom, maybe. And, like, right in the entrance of the hallway. Okay, before I actually ex explain more of the story, I gotta explain about the hallway. Because I hated the hallway or in my old house. It's like a narrow hallway with one light at the end. Where our room, uh, my bedroom with my brother's. My brother, technically, and my si little sister's bedroom. That doesn't sound bad, but you got, like, imagine this. Your perspective is in my room. You walk out the door and you see one light. That's nice. But then you look out, everything else is just dark. Until you go to the bathroom for the light. I have some scary shit back then, and I hated that hallway. And that kind of, like, that didn't really trigger of me having a fear of, like, narrow hallways like that. What really got me into the fear of it is, well, <clears throat> it's really weird now talking about this out loud, because it probably doesn't matter to, like, most people, but some are like, well, shit, you know? What happened was that Beto went to the uh, bathroom, I think, and then when he got out, he had, like, you know how whenever someone blows onto your ear, or blows to your ear really, really close? <clears throat> it's like that to him, and, and he got pretty spooked by it, and that spooked me also. But the second... Right after he explained that story, it happened to me. So, I was pretty creeped out by that shit. I didn't think that would ever happen. But, like, uh, everyone's confused, except Beto. He's like, well, shit, you know? Well, I don't know. I think he was confused, too. But, um... Yeah, that's how I kind of got the fear of narrow hallways. Another story is, this one's about my brother and his experience with the old house. Um, so one night he was walking to the bathroom and once he finished, he went back and he heard a little giggling noise. He lo looked around in my sister's room thinking that they were just messing with him. And figured out that nobody was there. It was pitch black. And he just said, fuck it. And just, just 
ran out of air. I think this one isn't really that scary too much. It's just cause... How do I say this? Like, it sounds scary at first, but... It doesn't really... Impact you in any way. You're not like, oh shit, what the fuck? You know? Well, that's probably my opinion, but... It's still a good story to talk about, cause... We... When uh, he talks about it, we get a few laughs. Maybe me, but not so much of him. So, yeah. The last story that I'm going to talk about is one that almost, I think that my whole family experienced about this. It was in this, in our new house. Well, not technically new. We've been here for a few years now. Um, one time... Uh, one of my dogs, his name is Chester. He wanted to come in. We let him in. He just bolted all the way upstairs. And my sisters used to have like a cage in there. Now it's in the down. Now it's in the downstairs dining room. And he would not want to go back outside. Like he 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 just like he was refusing to go. We were I was kind of a little weirded out by this because he never done that before. Yeah, he'll bolt to the um, cage, but he'll never, like, not want to go back out there. It's really weird and kind of creeps me out a bit and wondering what scared him or what did he see that made him act like that. But we never really thought about it ever since. Sometimes whenever I think about it at night, it just kind of creeps me out a bit. That's probably the most that we'll do. Okay, yeah, these stories aren't really good right now. But um, I'm trying to like, remember some f more stories. And some that I do remember are better than these ones. The r reason why there aren't like the best ones out there. Because I just want to give you a little taste of it. See if you'll like the series or not. I don't know. I'm not going to have like unlimited amount of episodes that i know i'm not gonna have i'm probably the most gonna have is like four or five and i'm not gonna do them all at once because i'm gonna have like content in between but i kind of like doing this one because it just i just finally get to talk about this and shit i like talking about these types of things just cause, well, especially in the weekends, I have nothing to do. So I just think I could just make a video of this. It's not time consuming. It's not tedious. All it just is, is just me talking about shit. That's all it is. So, well, yeah. Um, I don't know what else to say. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want more, just comment down below or just give it a like. Uh, you could subscribe to the channel, but there's really nothing there other than this video. So, uh, yeah. Have a good night. Nice weekend. If I don't make any other ones. And uh, see you next time.